Hi guys, how are you all doing today? I have been missing in action and if you keep up with my videos, you know why. I've just been kind of depressed, kind of very, very, very sad. <laughs> but you know, things, life is moving on and Kristen's surgery and school is starting back up. I can't mope in mope i have to you know life goes on you have to just persevere right move on and i know that's what my mom would want so anyway there'll be a separate video uh me talking about kristen's surgery that's going to be coming up pretty soon but right now i am just going to talk a little bit about homeschooling i always talk about this before the new school year start and i have this book graduating with a homeschool diploma i mean i live in nevada and our law i feel like i have a hair i think i got the hair our laws are you just write a letter to the superintendent of the school saying hey i'm going to homeschool my child at this address and this is what i'm going to be teaching them and then they send you a letter back and they say shoots okay and you're good to go. As long as you stay at your current address, you don't have to send another letter every single school year. So we started this when this journey when Kristen started high school, which was ninth grade. And now my youngest is starting ninth grade also. And I kept debating because she has an IEP. So I kept debating if I should keep her in public school, but she doesn't really want to go back to school per se and the last couple of years her IEP like it gives you more time like studying and stuff she used to take speech but in seventh grade she gave up on speech she does have trouble with her R words and that has been going on since third grade so she was like I'm done with it I don't want to do it anymore and to me she talks she talks great um she just has trouble with her R words but so I decided, well, I'm going, I'm going to homeschool her like I do Kristen and I can spend more time on what she has trouble with. So we don't have to um, worry about time limits. That's the best thing about homeschool. You can do whatever you want to do. It's on your time. You can teach all year round. You can teach if you want to take a vacation, you're traveling. So this is homeschooling is much different than virtual schooling because virtual is usually um a virtual online public school but anyway like i was saying this book was ten dollar on amazon.com and it's about a homeschool mom who graduated all her kids let me tell you something because some people might think homeschooling high schoolers are hard it really isn't nowadays they have so many curriculums um online tutors um so they have so many things to help your child if you are having trouble trying to help your child nowadays sometimes the kids um pass what their parents learned when they were in high school um but one thing i know when kristen was having trouble with algebra i went back in and i try to learn algebra relearn algebra again and then i'm like oh yeah i remember this or i got it and i was able to um to help her but anyway so let me tell you this okay a parent issued high school diploma is just as good as a high school diploma from a public school a charter school any school is just as good now nothing wrong with taking the GED but if you are high school if you are homeschooled through high school you don't have to take a GED because a GED um, like I said nothing is wrong with that but a GED means you didn't get that high school education like you didn't go to high school and that can hurt your chances because some places still yet do not really they look down on a GED or don't accept a GED a GED is just to see what you learn if you're at a high school level but you but so if your kid is if you're homeschooling your kids through high school 9th through 12th grade you can give them a diploma you can print out make a diploma 
they have places where you give them your information, you can get a really, really nice um, high school diploma. And that's what I'll probably do for my children because Kristen is going to be a junior this year. So two years, she'll be graduating high school. And if you do go to colleges, if you, a lot of college, they do, they love homeschoolers. So, you know, sometimes they'll just ask, okay, well, take your SAT or your ACT. And they just take you based on, based on your score. So just remember this, it's not that hard to homeschool a high school, high schooler and a parent issued diploma. It's just as good as a diploma from any school. So that being said, so Kristen usually does power homeschool. And we like it. I mean, she has no issues with it. But I'm trying to think maybe, because um, I know some people supplement with Khan Academy. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be using Khan Academy as just my curriculum and maybe substitute. Because you can do, you can find a lot of free resources online. You just have to Google. Google them. Just Google, Google, Google. And, um, and you would find what you need. I know um, Teacher Pays Teachers. They have stuff where you can pay for things or you can type in free on their website and things will pop up that is free and you can just print them out, download them and print it out. So, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna do, I know I'm rambling cause I'm, I don't have anything written down. I'm just thinking as I'm speaking. So, but yeah, so we're gonna probably do Khan Academy and maybe supplement some things if I find off of teacher paid teachers or if I Google. And there's also a lot of, um, God, I don't know the websites, but if you go, if you join, they're free to join like homeschool moms, there's tons of them. And they always have like freebies, giveaways. Once I want a drone from a giveaway, and I still really, I really wanted a drone and I was so excited, but I don't really play with it. But anyway, I mean, so yeah, just, just Google everything. Cause some people don't and God, I, I love Google. I Google everything if I don't know, or I don't have the answer, but I know Khan Academy has been around forever. A lot of people use it and i looked in their website recently and it seems they have a lot of things more geared towards high schoolers now since a lot of people um since the pandemic happened a lot of people are doing homeschooling so so yeah so that's all i wanted to say i'll probably jump back on here later on um once i have probably in august once i have everything situated um, classes they're going to take and what officially they're going to use but I'm looking I'm really looking towards Khan Academy so check it out I mean I'm sure you probably heard of Khan Academy so yeah so that's all I wanted to say and later on I'm going to make a video about Kristen's surgery so until next time aloha